Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error saying that we can't sign into your account. This problem can often be fixed by signing out of your account and then signing back in. If you don't sign out now, any files you create or changes you make will be lost. So the first thing I would suggest doing is just saving any data you have to an external flash drive or external media source. And I would also try just checking to make sure you're logged into administrative account. So if you go over to username, just make sure that it represents exactly what you're supposed to be signed into. So if you just signed out of your account or restarted back to login screen, just to make sure you're not signed into the incorrect account. Next thing I would try would be to open up the registry editor. So left click on the start button one time. Type regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with regedit. You want to right click on that. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I would suggest before making any modifications to the registry editor that you create a backup of your registry. In order to do that, you just go up to the top left and left click on the file tab. And then left click on export. Then you just rename the file whatever you want, save as type registry file. So if you wanted to name it preferably like a date or something so you knew when we were going to restore it back to, you're more than welcome to. Save it to the desktop or somewhere you're going to be able to easily retrieve it from. And then once you're done, if you ever have to go back and re-import it in, just go up to the file tab and then left click on import. And you just would import that same file. So pretty straightforward. So after you make a backup, I would suggest navigating over to HKEY Local Machine. So either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to it on the left to expand that selection. Now you want to expand the software folder. Now expand Microsoft, so left click on the little arrow next to that one as well. Now you want to go down to Windows NT. So I'm going to scroll down here, right here. and Again, expand that, expand current version. Now you want to go and expand profile list. So now you're going to see several subfolders in here. You want to select the one that has the profile image path key. And now you just want to double click on ref count. Should be right underneath. Just double click on that. So value data is currently set to 1. Just want to delete that. Type 0 in here. And then left click on OK. So just the number zero, don't type Z-E-R-O, just want to type the number zero. Left click on OK. And now you're done with that, close out of the registry. Would suggest opening up the start menu, type in Windows Update. Check for updates is what I would suggest. So attempt to try and check for updates through there. If anything's found, just let it install and then you probably will have to restart your computer for the update to take effect and hopefully that should have resolved the issue. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.